What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, YPD Balls, man. I'm coming through, man, to talk about the archetype building system. Now, I know everybody's interested about this new My Player Builder, but there are some there could be some downfalls to this My Player Builder, man. There, there's most definitely some positives, but there could be some downfalls also. So I was just, you know, sc scrolling on Twitter. And stuff like that. And I came across a lot of different tweets as far as the, everybody knows you can apply your attributes to wherever you want to. So, you know, you, if you want your dunking and you're and your, and your dribbling all the way up, you can apply that to that. But I also came across some things and I started to think, well, how many attributes are they going to give us to start with? I mean, and also, do will, will the game dictate? Like, say, for example, for example, if I make a 6'6 shooting guard and he weighs 180 pounds and I put my slashing all the way up, is my contact dunk going to be a 99 or is my contact dunk going to be like a a 90 or 80-something, you know? So uh, does, does weight, I'm pretty sure weight, arm length, and height does matter, but... What if I want to make a 6'6 shooting guard? There's 180 pounds that could dunk on anybody. Is that really giving me control of my player? Is is it is it really um, letting me build the player that I want to build? Or is the attributes kind of preset? And what I mean by the attributes, I don't mean the attribute caps. We know the attribute caps are not preset because we can put those wherever. But is the system going to dictate well, you can't, is the system going to dictate the height you have to be, the weight you have to be, even though you don't want to be that way? I think it is. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of people's going to, it's, it's going to be, it's, it's something new, it's something fresh. So a lot of people's going to be happy as far as the My Player Builder itself. But a lot of people are going to be mad because the, the system's going to make you, force you to be this way, force you to decrease in speed, force you to be maybe this this tall, or force you to even go to another position. And plus two, we don't even know all the badges yet. We don't know the badges when the game drops, and probably in like a couple weeks we'll know the badges because the demo is going to be here. But because the build, the build that I'm making, my slogan this year, 2K20, is welcome to Cheeseville. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's going to be my slogan. Welcome to Cheeseville. So, with that being said, I'm not going to reveal the build that I'm making. I'm not going to make a video on the build that I'm making until I actually make the build and see how it's going to be cheesy. But by, the, by, by my words, y'all can already figure out what kind of build I'm going to be making. So, but the positive, I think that would be the only negative. The positive in the new archetype system is you can make anything you want to make. Now, I don't know, because you know 2K, I don't know if they're going to let us cheese, man. But what I mean by cheese, I don't know if they're going to let us make 7-3 pure shot creators. I don't know if you can make a pure shot creator as a power forward. I just don't know. Then uh, if you can make a pure shot creator, well, I say this. I'm going to take the archetype thing out of it. If you can make a pure, if you can make a build that's like 7 foot tall that can hit fading mid-ranges, if they get like a difficult shots or or shot spacer or whatever they call it, space creator badge on Hall of Fame, that's a cheesy build. You know? There's going to be a lot of cheesy cheese ball builds out here. You know? So, with that being said, I'm just having like one reserve about things. Like, I, I honestly, to be, be honest, I thought that the My Player Builder, that was going to give us my thoughts on this on, on this whole little system thing, even though I really haven't seen it, I've just read. I've been doing a lot of research from people who have played the game, and I guess maybe messed around with it, or you know, because you know, there's the popular 2K YouTubers, they 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 got an invite to talk to the the Ronnie 2Ks and all of them. They they I'm pretty sure they messed around with it, but they can't leak that piece of information because I like, guess contract. 
the gag order. You know, you can't lose your job and stuff like that. But, but I will say this. It's going to be easy to cheese on this game. That's the way it seems. By the way they're talking, there's going to be hella fine new dribble combinations. It's going to be easy to cheese, easy to break ankles. Because I'm going to tell you something. When you're making your player, don't forget defending. Yeah, everybody wants to have their offense up, but what is the point of having a, a strictly offensive build with no ankles? Especially if you know, I know everybody's had, majority of everybody who's been the pure, been on the pure sharps, who's been on these non-dribbling builds, they're going to make sure they got some dribbling. They're going to make sure they got some dribbling in their build this year. So, don't slip up, man. Don't slip up when you make your build. Make sure, if you want your slashing, if you, if you want to be a slashing shooter, Make sure you're slashing and your shooting's all the way up. But don't let it hinder your defense, you know? Make sure your defense is at least a 70, 60. Make sure the defense is up there, you know what I mean? Because you're going to need that defense. Because with the defense, is a ladder of quickness. Ain't no point of being able to dunk on somebody for two points and get cooked for three points every time on the other end. So you got to be smart and strategic when you're making your build. And I know a lot of people are going to be going to YouTube to try to figure out, well, hey, this guy said make this build. This guy said make that build. I know a lot of y'all are going to find builds that these YouTubers are, are putting out. But let's be honest. If a YouTuber puts a build out and they're not using that build, how will they know if the build's good? Why? Because they played the build. They played with the build for, what, 20 games? at an 85 or 90 or whatever it is or whatever you can match your stuff out in, they don't know. So, once again, you have to figure out what you want to make, man. You know? You can have everything set at 75. That's shooting, that's dribbling, that's defending, that's rebounding. You can be like a four-way type of player. But your statistics is not going to be that high. But, hey, you never know. You may have uh, every badge. I, and plus, but the badges. I, they haven't even said if we're limited to badges. It could be like 16, 17, 20. You can get every badge. If it is, that's going to be great, man. You know? That's going to be excellent if you can get every badge. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, they let us pick our badges. Hopefully, once we... Hopefully, once we make our build, as far as the attributes, where we want to attribute that, hopefully once the badges start start popping up, we can choose between these badges for the primary. We can choose between these badges for the secondary. We can choose between these badges for the silver and the bronze. Hopefully, we can do that because that's freedom to create your player, you know? they need If they're giving us hands-on freedom, they need to try to incorporate that instead of sticking us with a badge because I may not want... Relentless finisher. I may not want relentless finisher on gold. I may want relentless, relentless finisher or matter of fact, let me take that back because I know they said that relentless finisher is no longer in the game. So I may want contact finisher on silver and I may want, uh, what is it? The deep shooting badge. I may want that on gold. Excuse the noise in the background. I know y'all heard the noise in the background. Excuse that. I don't know what that was, but anyway. So when it comes to building your my player, make sure you build your my player. Make sure it's everything that you want. Don't go off of what somebody else is telling you. Now, team program and all of that, if, you, if you're over the squad and you got, or if you, if you already got your crew and your crew like, hey, you need to make this, you need to figure out this, that's cool. But when it comes to the cheese, man, y'all know what I mean. When it comes to the cheese, man, you got to make sure them attributes all the way up, man. You know what I mean? Make sure them maxed out. You know what I mean? Because I'm letting y'all know right now, this year, I see my, I see me playing a lot of tubes. And it's funny because a lot of people be like, Walls, you don't be streaming no more, Walls. Yeah, I haven't streamed in about two or three months, but I have been dropping videos. But this, I've been playing on tubes for the last two or three months. Haven't been playing on my career. Have been playing on threes. When I get on the court, bro, I play twos because I feel even with a pure sharp, as long as I got a glass or a lockdown, I'm Gucci. I feel as if twos are so easy. It don't matter what you're checking, what you're guarding. It's too easy to play twos. It's too easy to win on twos. Yeah, there's comp that come, but comp comp is comp, but comp is cheese. If y'all don't understand, you know, on the twos, comp is cheese. People be like. People be like, oh, you playing comp? No, you're playing cheese, man. That's all it is, because it's a game. 
The comps is going to cheese you, cheese their way to a victory. They're going to L2 on the inbounds. They're going to spam, dribble, do this. They're going to have a lockdown, post up in the corner, a lockdown, post up at the three, the perimeter, and shoot three. Comp is cheese. Remember that. So when you're making your build, remember, it's about the cheese, man. It's about how you can manipulate the archetype system to your advantage. How you can manipulate the person you're going up against. Everybody's, there's going to be lockdowns. There's going to be pure builds. But just watch. Just watch and, and, and when the game come out, come back to this video. Watch and wait and see. There's not going to be many defensive builds, man. I'm trying to tell you, it's, it's going to be hard to find a lot of people who, who, are, who have defensive builds. Very hard, you know? But also, like always, comment in the comment section below, man. Comment down there, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all think they're going to give us full control of our players? Or do y'all think, even though we got some control of our players, a lot of stuff's going to be preset? Because honestly, I like the attribute gliding and sliding and all that, but I want to build a player. I want to build my player from scratch. You know what I'm saying? I want them to give me 500 caps or however many it is or 600 caps. Let me build my player from scratch. Let me let me put something on this uh, defensive re defensive rebounding, offensive rebounding, defensive box out, offensive box out, uh, um, passing vision. I want to create my player like that. Now, if the my player builder is like that, it's going to take a minute to create a player, but that's going to be real good if we can do that but i doubt that we're gonna be able to do that but you never know but like anyways any but like anyway see i always be mixing my words up but like i said just think about the bill you're gonna make remember cheese man cheese man make the cheese man but like always smash that sub button turn notice on and this is just my thoughts on the my player, it, it's just my thoughts on like the my player builder and I feel how it should be uh, the build, the freedom that we should have, you know. Make sure to comment below, man, and I'm out.